If you're just starting out in DayZ, it's really likely you will spawn around one of the large coastal towns in the south or southeast of the map. These large cities like Cherno, Electro, and Berzino are heavily trafficked by other players, and that results in less loot for you, and it decreases your chances of survival. Most of these players then slowly head north on the main roads, taking most of the loot they find. I'm going to show you a slightly safer and more efficient route that is ideal for almost any player, whether your goals are base building, PvP, or simply exploring the map. So this loot route basically starts in the northeast, and what you're going to be doing is heading west on this main road. Usually you want to start in Svet, which is like a big coastal city, and you can see there's a good amount of spawns here. But if you don't spawn here, it's not a concern because you can also get a Bereski spawn, which is a small coastal fishing village, and you can spawn at the Riffy shipwreck. I like Svet because I can loot the whole city really quickly, and because the city is split evenly between urban and industrial loot. This makes it easier for me, and saves time because I can hit the whole upper town first, and then I can go through the industrial section as I run west. So as you look to leave the city, make sure you stay on the main road that heads west. This is like the main highway, and this goes across the map. You want to follow this until you come upon a group of tents. These military tents have magazines, ammo, and if you're lucky you can find a weapon like an AK or an M4. Afterwards you just want to continue heading on the road under this bridge and you're going to keep heading west until you start seeing some big industrial buildings in the distance. So this is the industrial section of Novo and this is just perfect for base builders because you can just run through here, grab anything you might need for bases and you can be on your way west. As you pass through the industrial section you're going to notice that you're in the main part of Novo which is like buildings which spawn food and stuff like that. Hopefully by now you have decent gear. Uh, if you do, you can just probably skip this area, but it's worth checking out. There's this unique building where you can snipe from, and it's a fun city to run around in. When you're heading towards the city, you're going to see this little road here that goes left and curves. Uh, this is going to lead you to the police headquarters, which has pretty decent stuff usually, and it's just going to give you a chance to get guns if you haven't had any luck in the previous spots I've shown. So right as you leave the police station, you can start heading back on this road west. Uh, this road right here will connect to like the main highway. So you just basically follow past these apartments and link up to the main highway. And from here you can just head in a straight line basically. So as you approach Severograd, right before the city you're going to see these two barns on the hill and there's going to be a huge quarry right behind. When you see these barns in this quarry, you basically want to head up past the quarry and just head straight like north of it into the forest. Right north of the quarry you're going to see this little paved road that leads to a hidden summer camp in the woods. This hunting camp is one of the highlights of this route because there's 9 cabins here which all provide pretty decent hunting loot. If you're lucky you'll find a PU scope or hunting scope here. You will also see these two military barracks which spawn pretty high grade loot. Uh, usually when I check them I can sometimes find tents if I'm lucky. I've found clothing, attachments, food, weapons. And right outside there's also a little hospital which gives you medical supplies if you do need them. So this spot is just an ideal location to stock up on loot. When you're ready, you can continue back to the main paved road and continue following it into the forest, which is north. Once this road connects with another smaller road, you want to take a left on the smaller road, and you basically just want to follow this all the way down until you notice a clearing on your right side, and you're going to see the entrance to a military base. So I don't know how to pronounce the name of this base, but I can tell you that it has amazing loot. It has five tents in the main section. Right above, there's another three tents. And right above that, there's a couple of barracks with more cargo containers and other loot spawns scattered all throughout the base. There's also this administrative building that a lot of players like to camp, so just be wary of this, but loot does spawn here as well. Don't forget to check the small guard towers that are along the walls of the base. These spawn really good loot as well. Overall, this base is located in a great spot because it's surrounded by forest, and a lot of newer players don't know about it. The loot route pretty much ends here because every player has different objectives, and at this point you've had access to all the type of loot that you would need depending on what your playstyle is. Uh, for me, I like to go snipe, but some players might like to build bases, some people might want to go to Tizzy or Northwest Airfield and get even better gear. So as a summary, you want to start at Svet, head west on the main highway until you start reaching Novo. After you loot Novo, make sure you check the police station on the way out. Now carry on west on the highway until you reach this town Svergino. You can either pass it and go past the quarry, or you can take this route that's highlighted here. But either way, you can get to the camp. After the camp, you can just simply go to the military base, and you should have full gear. So overall, I'm hoping this was helpful to some newer players at the least. Uh, you know, when I first started playing, I went through some tough times trying to get loot. I would always spend 40 minutes running up from either Electro or Cherno just to die at like Northwest Airfield or at VMC. 
But after I began using this route, I definitely noticed some improvement in my survival rate. This route offers me the most options overall. If I want to build a base, there's an unreal amount of industrial loot locations that lie on this path. If I want to get military gear instead, I've always noticed that the locations on this route are more quiet and safe in comparison to spots like VMC, Northwest Airfield, Beloda, or Pavlova bases. Some quick announcements, uh, we're slowly creeping up on a thousand subs, and I'm really hoping we can hit that goal within the next like couple months. Uh, so if you get a chance, please drop a sub. And finally, I'm going to begin streaming really soon, so if you want to see some northern PvP and sniper gameplay, please feel free to drop by. You know, I promise I won't waste your time by running through fields for hours like some streamers do. I'm going to always be running around in heavy PvP areas, so you're going to get to see some decent action. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.